What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Toya, and I'm here to do a reading for y'all. So let's get into it, y'all. So there is somebody here from your past that is now in an energy where they feel like they sabotage y'all's connection. Okay? This is somebody that you were either dating, you were friends with benefits with, or you were just getting to know. But this person is in an energy where they're, they're feeling guilty and they're feeling like, damn, this is all my fault. I'm the reason why she don't fuck with me. He don't fuck with me. I'm the reason why we're not together. I'm the reason why she don't answer my calls, why she not texting me, why we can't have sex. Whatever this is, somebody's like, I sabotage this. This is all my fault. Heavy on the self-sabotaging and realizing that they self-sabotage here, okay? Um, now, I feel like what really was going on is this person wanted to be open to new people. So, some of y'all, you were already in a relationship with this person, but they wanted to be in an open relationship. And I feel, some of y'all, I feel like you were not going for that. Uh, some of you guys, you were just friends with benefits with this person or just getting to know this person or maybe even dating this person. But they wanted to open their energy up to new people to allow new people into their energy sexually romantically here okay um and maybe they talk to you about this or two they just started doing this you take it how it resonates but i do feel like along the line this person ended up meeting another person and they chose this person over you in some sort of way now i'm definitely seeing the reason why this person is feeling real bad and real guilty is because they feel like they made a bad choice in love OK, they feel like the person that they chose over you, the connection that they chose over you and their connection was actually very, very karmic. OK, and it caused a lot of imbalances within their life. OK, so like I said, they know that they did it to themselves and they know that they sabotage this connection. OK, some of y'all y'all may have given this person an ultimatum. Either one, you be with me or you can go be with them. Um, some of y'all, you just decided to leave this person alone because you felt alone because you feel like they were stringing you alone. But like I said, at the end of the day, whatever choice this person made within their love life, like I said, they feel imbalanced. They feel like they made the wrong decision. They feel like this person that they did choose over you is not their soulmate and they do feel guilty. Now they're in a the mindset of why did I feel like I wanted to have two women? They could have been young. Y'all could have been teenagers. Why was I? Some of y'all, they, uh left you for somebody that was too damn young okay um but why did why was i trying to be open to new people why was i trying to have two women was why was i trying to have two men why was i trying to be sneaky why was i trying to date two people when the person that i really needed was right here the whole time like you were right there the whole time this person is really feeling like they sabotage y'all's connection and i also feel like the person that they went to instead of you it's really mentally unstable. Like this person feels like I really sabotage my connection with this person for a karmic female, a karmic masculine, somebody that's mentally unstable. Like this person is just now realizing that this person that they chose over you is really mentally unstable. Now this person, they may not be full blown karmic, the person that chose somebody over you, but they chose a full blown karmic. This person that chose somebody else over you, I do feel like they're mature or they're trying to mature now, but now they're realizing, like I said, this man or this woman they chose over you is full-blown karmic. This person is delusional, obsessed, very, very envious, super jealous. This person wants to argue with this person all the time, all day long. This person using them for their money. It's like this person feels so guilty now because they it, two guilty cards. Maybe they both guilty, okay? Especially if this person chose somebody that you actually know over you. Some of y'all, that's not for everybody. But if somebody that you was with or you were talking to or you were getting to know chose another motherfucker that you actually know over you, like, they both feel guilty, okay? Others of you guys, this person feels guilty because... Maybe this person is attracted to, attractive to them or has a very strong sexual energy to them. But this person that they chose over you is a karmic. Okay? Maybe this person got some wet, 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 wet. But they're mentally unstable. They're psychotic. Like I said, um, they're a gold digger. This person's unfaithful. It's like they ran into a motherfucker that's unfaithful as hell. And, and a low-key kind of crazy. And I feel like this person chose this other person over you because uh, some of y'all are very, very shy. Some of you guys are very, very quiet. 
okay you're very beautiful very sexy but you're very shy and quiet and to yourself so most people wouldn't know that you're a freak until they got you in bed so i don't know if this is somebody that you were sexual with but they like extroverted people or two you were getting to know this person, but you're so shy into yourself that they didn't even get a chance to see how freaky you really was. It's like this person, yeah, they want to, they, I don't know. Some of y'all are homebodies. And like I said, the person that they choose over you could be more out there with it, like more freaky, more talking about it. And you could be more to yourself. Like you don't have to be like that to pull somebody you don't have to talk about your coochie all day or your penis all day to pull somebody this is what this person does and this is what they did and that's all this other person was looking at like how this person talks about sex or how this person wanted sex it didn't have anything to do with this person actually being a good girl or a good guy it had everything to do with sex but maybe you're more low-key with sex okay it says Quiet with good vibes, but amazing in bed. Bed. It's like you're really a homebody, but you're still really, really good in bed. But either one, this person didn't get a chance to experience that because they judged you for being shy or quiet, so they didn't think that you would be like that. Or two, they just really like like I'm hearing they like ratchet. Like I'm not trying to like disrespect anybody. If you feel like you ratchet, you like to be ratchet, be ratchet. But this person like like ratchet pussy that's what i heard <laughs> uh you say no to ratchet pussy juicy j can't it's like they cannot say no to ratchet coochie at all like they love um and it's not that this person is ratchet is like karmic because they're ratchet it's just they really are karmic now but they do like extroverted people so this person may be like extroverted very fun but when they really got into it it's like they started dating this person though and they realize, like, no, she's unstable. He is unstable. Like, they are good in bed, but they are crazy as fuck. They are really crazy as fuck. Maybe I shouldn't have ended it with the collective fully. Or maybe I should have chose the collective instead, okay? Now, I do feel like, now, your energy is over here. This person is obsessed with your body. This person loves your body. So, the main reason why they wouldn't want to leave it alone is because your body leave you alone is because they love your body they feel like you have a really sexy body and that you're really sweet you're really beautiful but like i said this other person is more so going i know that sounds kind of fucked up but this other person is kind of more going okay it says you gave your body to someone else and they said it that's what it is here okay so i do feel like one when this person chose this other person over you you either could sense it or were too you know, you, you knew straight up. And it might have really hurt your feelings. It's almost like you had to hide your feelings. Like, something really hurt your feelings. But you're like, I'm not about to let nobody see me down. Like, I'm not about to let nobody see me cry. I'm, I'm about to appear happy. Or I'm about to go do shit to actually make me happy. It's not that you were faking being happy. Like, I actually see you being strong. And I actually see you being happy. I see you strong, so I'm showing a lot of strength. But I also see you kind of, like I said, hiding your feelings. Like, the fact that they do got you fucked up. Whatever they did, you're hiding your feelings about it. But at the same time, you really are being strong. It's not like you're hiding your feelings and behind the scenes you're crying and you're like, fuck him, fuck her. You're not doing that. This is you, like, being like, damn, that kind of fucking hurt. But I just got to move forward. This is you not telling this person or expressing to this person, like, you know, you really hurt my fucking feelings. You know, that really hurt me when you chose this person over me or when you did that. This is just you being like, you know, that did hurt, but I'm going to be strong anyway. And I'm going to go be happy. You know, I know I'm sexy. I know I'm the shit. I'm going to go hermit for a little bit. Get out of my feelings. Go within and just keep moving forward. Okay. That's the energy that you're in or that's the energy that you were in. So now this person like randomly sometimes check, they check up on you. And I do feel like when they were checking up on you, this could be on social media or they would call you. You take it how it resonates. You would be in an energy where you seem happy. You seem strong. They would like check up on you to make sure you're okay. But you have to hide how you really feel like you really got me fucked up, but I'm not about to show you that. So, hey, it is what it is. Because you and this person do have a strong spiritual connection. Uh, I do feel like you know you're unique. You're different. This person knows you're so unique, so different. It's why they would check up on you every now and then. Because they knew they were wrong for choosing this person over you. 
And this person is a karmic. This person is a karmic. But I do feel like you're in your own lane. You were like, you know what? I'm going to let you have it. I'm not going to feel these feelings too much. Um, I do feel like this person wants to come towards you, though. They may be plotting or planning to come towards you. Just be careful because this person is a narcissist. Okay? And they want to come towards you because they love your body. So they strictly want to have sex with you. They may try to take you out on a date or try to, like, have some type of date night with you. But at the same time, what they really want from you is sex. Okay, they feel like, damn, I sabotage. I can't even have sex with this person no more because I chose this other person. But this person knows that you're very loyal and they're very determined to try to get you. Okay? But yeah, what this person wants from you is strictly sex. They're going to try to come towards you because they want to have sex with you. But they're very sneaky about it. So like I said, they may try to, hey, you want to Netflix and chill? You want to go on a date? You want to go out to dinner? But for real, they want to have sex. It's just they know they can't just come towards you and do that no more. Because either one, they're married. They done chose this karmic over you. They done married a karmic. Or two, they feel like you would be their You should have been their future woman. You take it how it resonates. But this person feels like, damn, I really sabotage us. I really sabotage this connection with the collective. All right? Anything uh, else? What actions would they be taking toward the collective? What actions would this person be taking for the collective? Just, I really feel like they're, if they're not coming towards you to try to like get, you, break down your boundaries again, the action that they're going to be taking towards you is just guilt. They just feel guilty. For real. They feel, I feel like uh, you, you, something, some type of illusion is coming to the forefront. So maybe the guilt is coming from you knowing what they want. It's like you being suspicious and you may be like telling them like you exposing them basically being like, I know what you want. You trying to break the ice with me because of this or that. So the next action they have towards you, they, they are going to come try to toward, they are going to try to come towards you sneaky. But you're going to be very like, I know what the fuck you really want and I'm not going for that. And they're going to feel guilty because you're very suspicious. It's like they're trying to break your boundaries down and you're not going for that. Okay? So, yeah, that's pretty much what I got for y'all. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Bye. Go take a little trip. It's such a future with me. Go take a little dip. Go take a little dive. Get that energy right. We gon' get it together Cause the car, the cars The key clarity The cars, the cars The key what you need Subscribe to my channel